Well, it's the time of the year for snow and ice and accidents can happen. And today we are talking about a question involving an accident with the weather. Joining us as always, attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Guys, glad you made it in without any uh, car issues. Nobody knows here. more about the weather than you. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's see how you guys relate the legal knowledge now to an accident involving the weather. This is from Bill in the shop. And Bill says, I was involved in a one car crash last week on black ice. I fractured my neck and left arm. I thought it was just an accident, but the guy who lives next to the road told me he has been complaining to the state for the last 10 years about the road and the black ice and there have been over 20 crashes. Can I sue the state for this? Uh, does Bill have anything here when he said that uh, everybody's been complaining about the stretch of the road? Yeah, I mean, normally, Bill, you know, if your car is sl sliding on black ice and you're involved in a motor vehicle crash, you're not gonna, there's not going to be anything there. But in this specific, uh, particular case, because there's been such a history of crashes in that, in that area, uh, and they have been complaining about it, the state would have had to have done a study about the roadway design, and they would have had to make some changes to make it make it safer. Safer. If the black ice is, uh, you know, pooling in a particular area because of the geometry of the road, you know, you may have a potential case against either the township or the state, all depending on who has ownership of that particular road for what's called a roadway uh, design defect case. So um, you know, we, we handle a lot of these cases. We just finished you know, actually trying one, uh, but you may, you know, you know, there may be something there. Yeah, we're actually working on uh, one right now in the western part of the state. So I mean, the answer is yeah, and you always want to do the inquiry, ask around if your you know, neighbors know the FOIA, most. FOIA request, the federal, the Freedom of Information right. Act. Right, yeah. you could do that, that but, but the, the thing is, the best knowledge is usually from the neighbors if it's uh, this natural uh, type of accident that happens because of snow, rain, runoff. The people who traverse that road normally know this information. So that's where you want to have your, your attorneys look to see if there's that information. Because if it is, then you possibly have a case against the township, yeah. the state, et cetera. So it's important to do that initial investigation. And that's why it's always important when you're in a wreck pick up the phone and call an attorney and get the advice you need because if you, you rest on that and you don't do it, that attorney or when you decide you want to do something will be behind the eight ball and they may not be able to proceed. We know we have a long winter ahead and I'm sure our <laughs> viewers may run into some situations that involve crashes with the weather. A and if they're in a place and they need to call you guys, how can they do that? They call us at 570-714-HURT or see us on the web at 714hurt.com. Or go to our Facebook page. And if you have a question, put it on our page. We'll do our best to answer it on an upcoming segment. Results matter. Attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Gentlemen, thanks so much. Good morning. Don't forget, we'll get your question right here on the law and you just visit pahomepage.com or call us on the hotline.